He is gonna have some ramen noodles. Some beauty drama, Ryan. I didn't realize there were like 7,000 people in Birmingham. Oh. with my lovely son Ryan and for those of you that don't know Ryan he is studying in college he's studying business global yeah. relations or global something. business global business um, and he is gonna have some ramen noodles and we're gonna talk about some beauty drama Ryan Oh great. <laughs> my favorite. Ryan goes to school in Ireland. He goes to Trinity. up to. <laughs> he goes to Trinity College Dublin and um do you like it there, Ryan? I enjoy it. It's quite nice. Yes. Good, good drinking. Like <laughs> Irish people know how to do it. So what kind of ramens are you eating, Ryan, today? Um I'm eating cocoa ramens. They were the cheapest noodles at the local market. Oh. Euro 50 a pot. Well, I am having... Oops, they just... Oh, it's a little more fancy than mine. Yeah, this was like a whole 50 cents. Um, Sapporo, Sap, Sapporo Ichiban noodles. These are actually Japanese. Um, but did I tell you about our excursion? My first time ever and daddy's first time ever to an Asian market. Where we went this weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you just were going. Well, we went to the Asian market. It was kind of interesting. Um, I hope I'm doing this right. So I'm, I'm becoming um, quickly an aficionado at mukbang, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, and oh, I'm only eating one package because y'all know I don't eat that much at, at a time. So, um... I always like to say, don't email me if I don't eat anything. Don't write negative comments. This is meant to be a fun channel. If we talk about someone, please don't bother them. You know, we, we love everyone. So we're going to talk about first about James Charles, okay? Guess what happened? Okay. Guess what happened this weekend? In your, across the pond in your neck of the woods. Well, James Charles went to open a Morphe store. Mm. Morphe, what's that? Mor what's Morphe? Morphe is a makeup store. And they actually have the best makeup brushes. Is it like Sephora? Like Yeah, kind of like that. Like, exactly. Sephora, yeah. Ulta. One of That's those. the only one I know. Uh, Ulta is right down the street from our house, actually. Um, right next to Panera. Mm. Oh, right by the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How's the weather there? How's the weather? Um, it is kind of cold today. Kind of like cold. 30. Ooh, that's 30. very cold. 30 yeah, Fahrenheit or Celsius? Fahrenheit. Well, if it was Celsius, that would be like 100 Fahrenheit. Mm, that would be really warm. Uh, it's like, it's hovering around zero Celsius. Mm. It's, it's I like my neuters. It's, it hasn't it hasn't rained in the last few days, which is the nice part. Really? Well, it's, 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 guess it's, what? It rains, it just goes downhill. Well, I have to tell you about Fort Lauderdale because it is freezing. I think it's 50 degrees out. So, back to James Charles. James Charles opened a Morphe store at which they had 7,000 people show up to meet James Charles in Birmingham. But that's... I didn't realize there were like 7,000 people in Birmingham. Oh yeah, there Birmingham's like a big... 7, you went to Birmingham last year. Yeah, I went there. And it was like... Not... It's a pretty big city. Impressive. Like a pretty I flew into the airport. I didn't really go to the city. Oh. It was a thing. Because I, I went... I flew into Birmingham airport and then went to Loughborough University, which is like in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a college. It's like a sports college in the middle mm -hmm. of nowhere. Yeah. It's a really cool college, though. Um, yeah. Very good business school. Really good business school. Really? Mm. I, didn't, I didn't know. Because mm. um, they have, 
their student union building mm -hmm. is like this five story building or something. And at night, they, the walls move and it turns into a club. And what? It, was, it was hands down the craziest club I've ever been in. Like, it was, we found rooms on room. They walk into a Protestant service at one point, like a church service from the club. One kid ended up on the roof of the building. Isn't that where all the sailing team went swimming in the fountains? Wasn't that what that weekend? Yeah, we, we got, and we did the naked, the naked miles too. Great. The track. And it, it was it warm out that day or cold? No, it was about like probably in the 20s. Hmm. Great. Okay. Like you don't feel it if you're drunk enough. Apparently not. So. <laughs> so. Back to James Charles in Birmingham. Yes, Apparently, like at the mall, there were so many people, there was no parking. They had to bring in extra security, and they, um, the traffic in front of the mall just halted, like completely stopped, and people ended up, took three hours, one guy said, to go under a mile. And so people just pulled their cars over and left them. Which then became. Well, why didn't you just like tweet, like, don't come? Like... What? I, would you tweet that if you were James Charles? Because okay. then, guess what happened? It blew up on the news over there. And they were like, all the newscasters were like, who is James Charles? Who is James? Some 19 year old kid, like, so, like, not in the realm of their world, you know? Like, so funny. But I thought, I thought it was hysterical. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, it's like, you know YG the rapper? No. Who's that? He's Go ahead, you very, can teach me. Very, a very controversial rapper. Oh. What and rapper just, isn't controversial? Like, he's more... He made his most famous song um, is a song called My N-Word. Yeah, let's not say that on my channel. Yeah. And, um... So he, somebody, some, one of his fans was videoing him in the airport the other day, mm -hmm. and he went up, flipped out on the guy, and like took a video and posted it, like, don't take videos of Oh, it sounds like Chris it. Brown. It like, yeah, no, it was like really bad. It like, was like, I want to be famous until I'm famous. What? I, I want to be famous until I'm famous. I think these people do what? it to stay relevant. Yeah. Because I don't think anyone true. would even know who that was if... You know, I guess I mean, people that like rappers would like... Yeah, people who like rap, like, no, no, like, average person would know who he is. Mm -hmm. So, what I want to talk about is James Charles tweeted out this morning that... You ready for this? I might have to have you help me find it. Oh, um, James Charles tweeted out that... Wait a minute, I took a picture of it. James Charles Twitter. Oh, here's a, a news uh, beauty vlogger, Gridlocks Birmingham. <laughs> and then, so this guy was on the radio and he was like, but here's here's why James Charles is a really good publicist and Manny Mua doesn't. Okay, you ready? Now, James Charles is 19 years old. He's worth $12 million, as we discovered in my last video, right, Ryan? Yep. So, in, so there was this um, radio host who's like, there's gridlock in Birmingham, and I don't even know who James Charles is. And so guess what James Charles' publicist had him do? He actually called into the radio and introduced himself. And, like, the guy was like, now we're really good friends. He was really cool. He was like, this is who I am, and this is what I'm that doing. Was good. That was a very good idea. That That's a good, a good publicist. Like Take note, Manny Mua. Good publicist. Actually was like, he, and he was like, he tweeted out, oops. Yeah, but, like... I mean, Let's it's not his fault. Player. It's like, like the he's a very he's a very easy to manage talent. I mm. would say though, I would say like he's a very level-headed person. Oh really? Like, some of the other ones. What, you get that feeling when you're watching his videos. Like he gives you the over-the-top feeling, but not like the I'm a crazy prima donna. <laughs> Who like you? Jeffrey Star, like I would not want to oh, be his. Publicist. Hang on one sec, I gotta hold on one sec. Oh, Jeffrey Star is the bomb. Oh, he's, a great, he's such an interesting character, but like 
Have a good day. He does not see it. Like, Sorry, like, my neighbor was bringing back my drill. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, but like, okay. I think you're much more likely to have a public scandal representing Jeffree Star than James Charles. I feel like that's a safe bet. I think they're both in the same column, quite frankly, but we're going to get to Jeffree, Jeffree Star in a minute, honey. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't you love my beauty gurus, Roy? One way to put it. <laughs> I love it. Come on, you, you didn't know who they were until I introduced you to them. And I, I didn't... still wouldn't. <laughs> right. So now you know, and you're educated, and now you know why the traffic in Birmingham was at a halt. Because Craig, okay, like, when Jeffree Star, when Jeffree Star was in Ireland, what did, what did I, what did I want to do? You wanted me to go. Oh, no, I wanted to fly place. over and go with you, remember? Yeah, and I was like, Hello. No, you would have loved it. He's the bomb. Okay, so here's Jeffrey, James Charles's tweet this morning. You ready? Right. Apparently, my I sex tape, it, really. my sex tape is going around. Ah! This is exciting news to me, considering I'm still very much a virgin. LOL. Do you think he's a virgin? Yeah. No way is James Charles a virgin. Uh, yeah, I, I get virgin vibes. He's $12 million, but he, I guess. My guitar goes off. Hmm. He, um, so A, can you look if there's really a, um, sex tape? I'm not looking at that. I'm not looking at that. Just send me the link. I want to watch it. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I guarantee you there is something out there. I want to see that something. You know. I don't care if it's him or not, but I don't need my eyes on that. All right. So. You can look at I, I'm going to. I'm going to. Absolutely. But what, Jay, what James Charles says is the problem with his sex life isn't that he can't have gay sex. The problem with his sex life is that he likes straight men. <laughs> On the DL. See, I know what that means. <laughs> Daddy taught me that. Wow, you're so good. A little AMS ASMR, honey. Ready? No, 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 no. I just want you to know. That my That's husband absolutely ASMR. hates the slurping noodles noise when I'm watching mukbangs, and he freaks out. And I like makes like me turn down. Ninety-nine percent of ASMR. That is not ASMR. Ew! I don't like any AMs. I don't like. Like I love the soap cutting. Okay, so should we That's move on like from James Charles now that we pretty much don't know very much? But okay. Um, the next thing is, guess what happened yesterday to Jeffrey Star? What? He visited his hot plastic surgeon. Ooh. And we don't yeah. know what he had done, but he tweeted out and he did a Snapchat but saying that he was very- I'm feeling butt implants. Nope, he already had those. No. Come on, get with it. Well, it's calf implants. That seems like a very Jeffree Star thing. Maybe. He's got skinny legs. He's very thin. <laughs> He had his esophagus stretched um, last year because... You can do that? Remember they used to do it to Nanny? Yeah, like, that was like no. Because he can't, he, he can't, yeah, I know he can't swallow, like, well, he can swallow, Is but... He... <laughs> <laughs> he can swallow, but he couldn't get food to go down his esophagus. Too <laughs> much information in this video. Because <laughs> mm. he's got a hot boyfriend. Nate. I know. I was literally talking to Lee and Emily about this yesterday. And Lee and like, Emily are? They're my friends. For, they're my American friends at school who are in my course. They're both and, American? Yeah. Emily's okay. from Chicago and Leah's from New York City. Um, Shout out to Emily and Leah from Chicago and New York. Um, Leah subscribed to you. I know. Hi, Leah. That's my shout out of the day is to Leah. We're editing this out. No, we're not. <laughs> and guess what else comes out tomorrow, which is like the biggest news of the day. What? Shane Dawson's next video. Guess how long it's supposed to be. 
It's gonna be like two hours. It's an hour and a half. Yeah. Two, two. I mean, it's it's another it's another conspiracy theory. Yeah, I know. What do you think it's on? Here. All right. Like, I kind of feel like you would go Logan Paul right now, like, and just like. I don't watch Logan Paul at all. No, but I like, never watched a video Paul, of his. And he went so much into Logan Paul and his Jake and his Jake Paul, like. Yeah. Because Logan like, Paul is not very nice. I mean, I could also see him doing Casey Neistat. No. Oh no! It. No, I think it's. I think it's going to be a video on aliens. You want to know why? Oh, you think it's going to be like one of the conspiracy? I was thinking more like like a. I, I, I oh, you think it's going to be a, a conspiracy theory about one of the people? Mm. Yeah. I was thinking like he got so much popularity off that that Jake Paul. Yeah, but he was already popular. I mean, he yeah, did Jeffree Star like, right before that. He shut down over that. Like, yeah. if you think he's not trying to ride hit, that band again. He hit 20 million subscribers this week. Shout out to Shane Those Dawson. Congratulations. You're the bomb. Love you. Um, uh, I think it's going to be something that... And I don't know, maybe I'm jumping the gun on this, but I was thinking something like aliens because here's what, <laughs> yeah, the they, stupidest thing. Nobody could get mad at that after he took so much backlash. Yeah, I think he's probably done with that. Um, with the, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he did that, but anyway, it still made me watch. Um, but like, I think he might be doing aliens because Jeffree Star just released an alien palette. You know what that means? Like his yeah, makeup looked like, makeup. Yeah, 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 it was an alien pat. And I know he and um, Shane Dawson are collabing this year on something. So I thought that might be a nice segue into collabing. No, yeah, no, no. Okay, Ryan says no. Thank Corey. Yeah, Ryan says no. I think, that, I think that's like reaching A from Z. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. What do you think they would collab on? Um, Did you see? Did you I don't see? Know, they already, they like, they already. Did you see their Je um, Jeffrey Star's video of I Shane totally last week see, or like, two weeks? Uh, like, I could see a clothing line between Shane Dawson and Jeffrey Star. That would be so funny. Did you see what Jeffrey <laughs> gave him two weeks ago? No. He brought a whole Gucci collection with pigs on it, because you know pigs yeah. are his thing. Yeah, I'm telling I'm you, going. it's a clothing line. Also, did you see? It's the, the year of the pig. Did you see the Louis Vuitton earbuds? Earbuds? Earbuds. I did not. They're like AirPods. I, can, I know what AirPods Louis Vuitton. are. Louis Vuitton. They're like Louis Vuitton. And what do they look like? Like, why would you... They kind of, they kind of look, look ridiculous and they cost $1,000. But Why? It's like, it, it, it's this is like the, the, when people it, have just it, too much I money. I literally did this as a publicity stunt because there's this, like, this, this whole joke about like, if you have AirPods, you're too rich, and you have men, you're too rich to hear anybody else. And, uh, like, it's like a whole meme on, on like, Instagram and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, so everybody is like, and, like, now there's a Michigan State University um, AirPods club. <laughs> like, they meet twice a week. It's all over Instagram. Why don't you start a Trinity AirPod club? It's like, Why? Irish people just don't care. <laughs> what do Irish like, people care about? They like Jeffree Star, your Irish friend. Kaylee, Kaylee Mua. They don't watch that. You don't. No college kid watches that. Yes, they do. Kaylee, That's Kaylee's like in Ireland. Age women watch that. Shout out to yes. Kaylee because she does She's like really our age, cool. But she yeah. makes content for middle aged women. I am not middle aged, you little shit. You're getting elder if you're not middle. I look freaking good. Do I look pretty? You look all right, Mama. Oh, fine. I'm getting more disport tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, better than a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What else? What else? Oh, jeez. Uh, Perez Hilton's having surgery today. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, that's all I have in beauty drama today, Ryan. Thank you so much for joining me. I was a pleasure, Mom. I, I would love, love to you, join you for another. So much. Well, we'll see you all next time.
guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. We had a great time. If you like the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up right below me. And please subscribe to our channel. Share it with your friends. We're trying to grow. And remember to be nice to everyone. Smiles are free and the tea is always hot. Have a great day. Ready? How do I look?